you have played another game uh, a which much better you game. have really enjoyed called mm. Tactical Breach Wizards. Yeah, that's it. It's um, So I don't know if you're familiar with uh, games called Gunpoint or Heat Signature, I think was the other one. Nope. So Not they either. are kind of like the brainchilds of a former uh, journalist at PC Gamer, <coughs> Tom Francis. Okay. Um, he he basically quit journalism and created Gunpoint, I think, mostly alone to kind okay. of teach himself how to make games. And that game was like really cool. It was like wow. sort of a a puzzle a puzzle robbing game where you were like an assassin and you had to figure out how to like get in and out of buildings and yeah. um, like take care of guards in very efficient ways. It was very short, um, yeah. but which made its ideas a bit like it was a bit sad that it was as short as it was because I think it was very interesting. Yeah. But then he followed that up with like heat signature, which was more of like an action based thing on some ships. And now he's come out with him and a much bigger team now. Um <clears throat> tactical breach wizards which is like the longest they've spent on the game and it is his and his team's spin on XCOM essentially um and i think what i appreciate about most of it is that it retains the dopamine hit of pulling off a very well orchestrated move in XCOM mm. but without all of the friction that makes XCOM frustrating <laughs> to people like me XCOM where, so stressful <laughs> Yeah, firstly, super stressful, very, very role-based. So mm. how many times have you had a 90% hit chance on XCOM absolutely with <laughs> and then just completely fuck up your turn I hate it. because of worst. consequence? I think that's shit. I think personally, I think that's bad game design, especially because it's so unforgiving to then put that element in there just seems punishing for no mm. ab- for no reason. Yeah. Um, so Tactical Breach Wizards is a like XCOM-like where you can see every move uh, that is going to be made and how it's going to be made. Very similar to Into the Breach, where you know your move is going to land. You also know how your enemies are going to react to that. Like you see the order in which they are going to take their turns, who they are going to target as a consequence, um, and you can make your moves preemptively with that in mind. Um, And I think it's just really cool because you can basically play out your turn, switch between characters, make all of their moves. um, And then you have this like extra phase at the end, which is like foreseeing what the enemy's move is going to look like based on the decisions you've made. And if you're not happy with the outcome, you can just rewind each step or all the way back to the beginning of your turn. Yeah. um, And like retry that. But once you've accepted the consequences of that, so you see the enemies play out and you're like, cool, I'm going to kill two of them, but the one guy that's remaining is going to put my one guy for like two damage. And you're like, mm. that's acceptable. You lock in that turn, it plays out, and you can no longer rewind past that point. So you've okay. just got to like, you've you've you been commit. okay with that. So you, you <laughs> can't go right to the back of a mission and kind of redo yeah. it. Um, and I think it, it lends itself to this like really cool flow where you are just trying your very best to make each turn as efficient as possible like take as little damage as possible um make sure that your characters uh, spatially are left in a good place at the end of the Mm. turn because each of the little rooms are quite confined they're like little puzzle boxes um and i think it's just really satisfying because i'm not worrying about whether my my shots will hit i'm not worrying about like if i make a bad move this turn how it's going to absolutely wreck <laughs> the, rest the entire of the, mission, yeah. the entire run it's also not run based so it's not like an XCOM where it's like um you know your your characters die and you have to re- reskill up new characters and each campaign lasts a certain number of hours and then you have to restart a campaign yeah this is completely story based so the missions are all part of a campaign um, and the story itself is like the component that drew me in the most. It's mm. funny. It's very self-referential. Like, you know, like when things break the fourth wall, but sometimes they break the fourth wall, but they think they're funnier than they are. Mm. Um, this game is genuinely hilarious. Like no. it is so, so clever, so well-written. It's typical British humor. Um, it also has a bit of a bite to it. Like there's a bit of social commentary, like, peppered in there um specifically about like uh global wars because Mm. you are basically 
trying to stop like a world war from breaking out. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think it's really good. I thoroughly enjoy the story. I thoroughly enjoy the characters. Mm -hmm. You've got this like ragtag team of wizards because you're in a world where like magic exists if the name didn't didn't tell you. And like um, you're seeing in the footage now, the one guy's like a spec ops military agent, (laughs) but his gun has got a fucking wand in it. And he's got a wizard hat. It's so He's got a wizard hat. And he's like, so he's a seer. So he can see one second... Um, into the future which is you can imagine quite useful mm. in a military setting um, but he's also plagued by uh, complete decision paralysis so nice. he can see all these eventual futures but then often not act on any of them because he's so paralyzed by what decision uh, is the best which i think is a quite an interesting take on that sort of ability mm. um, the main character is a, a witch named jen who's like this private eye um, that is just like really dedicated to a job, but also just kind of very chaotic as yeah. a result. Um, and then my favorite is this necromancer. Um, she's a surgeon and she only recently discovered that if she kills someone, she can also revive them, but she has to kill them first. <laughs> so she has the snack of shooting people in the head before reviving them, which I think is hilarious. That's um, great. Like, so on the, on, on the battlefield, if one of your characters dies, you can get her to resurrect them, but she literally runs up to them, shoots them in the head, and then they come <laughs> back to life. And Great. it never made me stop laughing. It was just really stupid That's and amazing. fun. And she's just like super blunt in character conversations. Um, yeah, I I love the cast of characters. They, you add more as the story goes on, your party grows and your tactical options get more and more. There's more depth to them. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a great game. Like it, it really is probably one of the standouts of this year. And I think if you're at all interested in like XCOM or you enjoyed Into the Breach or, you know, any sort of tile-based strategy game, I think it's great for you. Yeah. I also think that if you've never been into this this sort of like genre, this is the most accessible it's ever been purely because like it gives you the ability to really you think about your moves and rewind and make adjustments. Um, but also like if you get stuck on certain levels, you can just skip a level. Like it doesn't care. Yeah. Um, if you're there for the story and you only vibe with like half of the levels, but you really want to progress through the campaign, there mm. is no, like it is very aware that this game needs to be difficult to be entertaining, but that not everyone was there just purely for that. Yeah. So, and I think that's kind of cool. It's, it's sort of the Celeste problem where like yeah. that game is hard as nails you and I appreciate it for being hard as nails, but it's also got a mode where you can just turn that shit off if you 100%, want. 100%, like, yeah. Play it, play it on your terms, and I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would totally recommend this game to anyone. It's only on PC currently. Um, I played it a lot on Steam Deck, and that mm. um, exposed something really bad about it is that its controller support is horrendous. <laughs> like, it is definitely designed as a mouse and keyboard things so you can like mouse over the battlefield and choose your abilities and whatever and when you play with the controller you just get one of those hovering mouse things that you move with your thumbsticks and it just doesn't yeah. feel great oh. it's not a great way to play um and that's a bit of a pity because i think on steam deck it it looks really good and runs really well so anyway good game nice. uh one of the best i've played this year for sure and Very i think cool. a game you would vibe with and a lot mm. of people would vibe with um so yeah i'm, ha- I'm happy also to see that it seems a lot of people are playing it. Seems the launch went quite well and it's getting a lot of good buzz. It got very good critical reception, which nice. I think is well deserved. So yeah. Very cool. No. I gave it an eight. It oh my god. Yeah. Unplayable. Good game. Good game. <laughs> very good game. Not an eight point five. Ah, uh, you so know, if I could I would, hey. Hundred yeah. percent. Seven seventy nine. <laughs> Yeah, 79, 89. Yeah, 89. Oh Just not enough for a nine, you know. Damn it. Um, funnily enough, like during another pullback behind the curtain thing, but um, when I get stuff edited at GameSpot, um, obviously all reviews go through like a, an editing process just to refine it and whatever. But there is also discussion on I present what I think the score should be mm. and people will read the text and be like, this actually reads more like less than what you scored it or more Mm. and i had two people uh say that the text for tactical breach was as read more like a nine Mm. um so yeah take that as you will some some people think it actually is more positive than i'm Mm. giving it credit for but anyway yeah 
and they're still you're still gathering hey, it's fake news yeah, i'll stuck to my guns <laughs> stuck to my guns nice. um that does look i believe cool, in first instinct so yeah <laughs> that you that can't apply to all things though because stoles idlers are like man i'm feeling a good nine here but i mean i don't know if it will be a good nine <laughs> sure a good we'll nine, damn. No, okay, not see, I never nine. got that from your description. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just speaking. Would shit. have would have said this is solid seven eight territory yeah, the way you're describing it. Eight territory it, but, uh, at the moment. We will see how that yeah. goes. Okay. Yeah. 